Mountain Midzer is a mountain located on the territory of Serbia. It is located in the western part of Serbia, in the Stara Mountain Massif. It has a height of 2,169 meters and is the highest peak of Stara Mountain. Mount Midzer is known for its strong winds and cold climate. Climbing MT Midjor in winter conditions, with heavy snowfall, can be a challenge and requires you to be in good physical condition and have enough experience hiking in such conditions. You also need to have the right equipment, including winter boots with crampons, walking sticks, and enough warm and waterproof clothing and footwear. The experience with the mountain is something new for me. I had my first winter ascent and also my first contact with the mountain by reclining in my armchair and looking at the incredible photos of the mountain. I was 20 kilos overweight and I thought, if others can climb, so can I. The stick is about 1.3 m long and is completely submerged in the snow. There was more than 1.5 m of snow. 20 mountaineers with two guides. We started to climb in the dark around 6 a.m. It was snowing, we couldn't see the fog. To climb Mount Midzer in such conditions, you may also need a will of steel to face the challenges that are presented to you and not to give up. However, you should be careful and do not underestimate the dangers that may be placed in your path. Idem tamo negde. Do sad je bilo teško, sad još teže. At 7.30 a.m., the group split up. One part of the group returns and is led by guide Petr. Aleksandr Svetkovic continues to shovel snow in front of us and constantly tries to get us back on the intended route using Garmin. 8 o'clock a.m. The rest of the group abandons the climb. I wasn't ready to give up. Guides are quickly arranged by radio link. Petter, who led the first part of the group that had given up earlier, takes a break in the lee and waits for us to approach with the rest of the group. After the meeting of the groups, the two of us continue the ascent. For the next two hours, I follow the tracks of the guide Peter, I don't see him even though he is three, four steps ahead of me, because there is a thick fog and the wind is strong. The wind has created an ice crust on top of the snow, so it is easier for us to walk, in leeward winds our feet sink into the snow up to our knees or thighs. To shorten the way, we climbed over the ridge. Petter carries 30 to 40 kilograms of equipment, he constantly takes off his glove to follow the planned route using Garmin. We didn't communicate much, because the wind was strong, the path was difficult, it was enough for Petter that I followed him, and for me, Petter is a guiding star. As we approached the top of the mountain, the weather was in our favor, the sky opened, the sun appeared, the wind calmed. It was hard, tiring, we felt relief while taking pictures next to the border stone and the sun was washing us. The clouds, like waves on the sea, bounced off the mountain and spread like a carpet under us, we were above the clouds. We still have a little bit left to reach the highest point of 2169 m above sea level. Just a little more and we are at the top. It's halfway to the transport. Dođuh, videh, popeh se. Četiri, ako nije više ko nama. Bugarska, Srbija i nebo sa nama. 